Hello, and welcome back to Teslacrat, where we left off, uh, right here. In this room, trying to figure out what we're doing. And the answer to that question is that we are... Oh, I have to warp there. Trying to get across these chandeliers, which is a just kind of strange task, if you ask me. But who am I to judge? Right? I mean, this is a worn down, uh sort of castle thing. We just saw in the last episode, actually, a play about uh, the burning of it. Okay, so switch the colors. Man, you carry some momentum when you do that. Alright. I feel like there's a secret there. And I cannot resist secrets. Come on, secret, yes. Card number 28. Achievement unlocked, Father's Alertness. That means that this is a card I haven't gotten before, because I believe that each card has its own achievement. So this is Mustachioed Electric Witch uh, watching the burning of the tower, it looks like. Interesting. And it says Father's Alertness, so that makes it uh, even more... Oh, I have to go through the whole thing again. Even more abundantly clear that that guy is my father. So I am the son of an electric witch. That is just a great name. I really like that. Oh, that was close. Alright. A new play. Nope. Just kind of fucked up. Holy shit. Hmm. Oh, I see. Oh. I think I see. I might. Oh, maybe not. Let's make sure they stay down, because that uh, electric bug will just turn around when it runs into... Ah, oh, I need to land on top of it. Turn around when it runs into the box. Which is nice and convenient. Alright, that sort of cheerful music does not go well with Insane King and Spiked Heads. Alright, so yeah, we need... Hmm, this is an interesting uh, little problem. Yeah, I don't want to just stare at that, thanks. Alright, so we want it... We want to have as much time as possible. Which means we want it to be right there. Okay, screwed that up. I think I'll just cut back to when I'm up there. That's a cut editing me. Or maybe it isn't, because first fucking try, hell yeah. I don't know how long that took. This is gonna take a minute, just waiting for it to come over here. Or not. And car. Boom, number 36. 36 is a picture of my mother staring longingly at a picture of my father and me staring at, uh, looks like this tower out the window. Alright, so these actually take on a new meaning. So, we know that 
Those are my parents. They knew the leader of the Electric Witch faction. I am either prophesied or cursed to defeat the king. And then I grew up. Hmm. So, I'm either prophesied or cursed to defeat the king. Fancy that. I guess we better get on that, though. Wow, that was lucky. Did not... Uh, think I would pull that off. Uh... Okay. Don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. Okay, me. Oh. Can we, like, pull ourselves to him? No. Alright. So that's worth knowing, I guess, that these guys charge things, but the other ones that, uh... Whoa! Alright, that was fast. The other things that look more, uh... Come on. There we go. The ones that look more like, uh, like pill bugs, those guys can, like, hold the charge themselves. Okay, so this should send the elevator up. Don't stand on top of it. Oof. That would hurt. Yeah. Just turn it right back to red. Okay. Interesting. We've got another ball puzzle. And we immediately throw ourselves into lightning. What a great way to start. Yes. Better and better. I just need to get it in there. Oh. Alright. I think I screwed that up. Just a little bit, though, and at the end. Which is better than I do a lot of the time. So, cool. Last try, because I'm going to get it this time. Oh, alright. I lied. Guess what? I'm going to kill myself instead. It's a pretty normal response. Alright, and I pull it along. And I go to the next spot. And I pull it along. I go to the next spot. And I pull it along. And I get on here. Ah, I had the wrong color in my mind, because opposites attract. Kind of like that. It's an interesting drawing. All right. So I want to be charged with red. And I want to do that. That worked pretty much perfectly. This might be a little more complicated. So if I push that... Hmm. Okay, so that's something. No. I uh, can turn this red, though. That'll fire it up there. Now it's doing something weird. Alright, wrong answer. I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> this is a weird one.
Alright, I might be able to, uh, drive that up. Ooh, almost. Yeah. Number 29. Uh, scrolls. These scrolls, in fact. Interesting. Okay, so my father apparently made all of these cards for, presumably for me to learn about what happened. That's pretty cool. Nice of him. Because I'd have no fucking clue what was going on without them. I'm just like solving puzzles with electricity and magic. Although, uh, whoop, forgot to use the charge. Fun time to point out, uh, everyone's favorite quote, right, sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And this is actually, like, technology a hell of a lot more advanced than what we're capable of uh, in the modern day. It doesn't look like it, but this is, like, monopoles and weird-ass shit, because all of these magnets now are only south. I'm just calling Red South, because, uh, but they're only South, which is a thing that, honestly, we're not even sure is possible now, yet. I don't know the word for it. Um, yeah, so they're just radiating energy, or just absorbing energy, and that is weird. Like, how does it do that? I wish I knew. Huh. Alright, that's... Oh, alright, I think I'm actually supposed to do this. Because I can stick to it. Oh, I kept the charge too long and it killed me. But that is the right idea and I got a checkpoint. Oh. I actually want that red. Yep, if I do. That, I guess, is just for getting back up. Hey! Alright, so now I figured out what the other button did. Um, it looks like this thing would have blocked my progress. Good to know. What does this do? It raises that. Which is important, because this is a hard as shit puzzle that I may or may not actually get through uh, in this episode, because it takes a while. Yeah, I like that. And you can't actually get off the uh, charge, because you'll notice now I'm like drifting down. I've just stopped, because I let go for a second. You need like upward momentum at all times. Oh. Otherwise, you're just never going to make it to, you have to make it to the top before that card does. That's why it's hard. Fuck. Well, there goes that. And I'm dead anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I screwed that up. And then screwed that up too. Alright. Don't worry, I can do this. I might just cut out all after this, but the last attempt. Oh no! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm drifting down. Eventually I'll start going up again. Really slowly. It's worth it, it'll get me to the top. I just won't get that card. I'll probably get it off screen if I do get it. Oh, 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 that was close. Come on, I can do this. Oh, geez, I just about stopped now. Slowly, slowly, slowly. You do. Uh, gain speed over time, though. 
That was kind of weird. Uh, one thing I think is cool is uh, it shows sort of the decay of the power of the beam over time and distance. Distance more than time. Whoops, there we go. Now, if you couldn't tell what I was doing there, there's this magnet right up here on this gear, which changes when I hit these. And so that lets me screw this platform in and out, which is pretty cool. That's a clever system. I like that. Well thought out. But we are past our time limit. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. And I will see you guys next time on Teslagrad.